Let's turn our attention to health as a team of researchers from Osman Danfodio University, Sokoto, strongly believe they have found ingredients that can cure brain cancer. The optimism of the researchers on the efficacy of their finding is overwhelming, saying it has been tested at a research laboratory in America with amazing outcome. Let's hear Hamisu Rogo on this. It is a landmark research discovery that is sure to please not only the people of Nigeria, but the global community at large. Its key driver is the new thinking current in the country towards a knowledge economy. And the country has been knocking its institutions of higher learning for solutions to many of its challenges of development. And on the evidence of a national exhibition by these institutions held in Abuja, it is clear they have the news to do it with their swag. It is interesting that a woman, Dr. Emina Yusuf Jega, is part of a five-month team that actually believe they have isolated an ingredient from a common or current plant in Nigeria that can cure five varieties of cancer. Now, it is a very heartwarming story that in Nigeria, I'm from the laboratories at the University of Sokoto, some group of researchers are coming up with a groundbreaking find finding from their pharmaceutical works that have the ability to address various types of cancers. And in fact, it is not about only addressing it, they have put their research finding to test. And we screened that particular plant first in the US, where we found out that it was able to kill cancer cell lines, especially uh, gly glioblastoma multiform, which is the brain cancer. So now, when we got that particular result, we were able to come back home and uh, apply for natural, uh, National Research Fund's grants via TED Fund, and it was funded. So we uh, carried out a particular research in screening the plant to see whether we'll be able to come up with the active ingredients that are responsible for the anti-cancer effect of the plant. We didn't just stop there. We tried to screen the plants against different types of cancers like the leukemia, cervical cancer, breast cancer, and what have you. And we were able to go ahead to identify each of the active constituents that are responsible for that cancer, especially the brain cancer, and we test the plant to see whether it will be toxic after long administration. And the toxicity level of the plant was found to be moderately safe. Oncologists the world over believe that cancers, especially brain cancer, can be very aggressive with the very poor prognosis or period of recovery. And so far, only surgery, radiation and chemotherapy are available for the treatment of cancers. So what will this new product do differently if it is ready? Have you tested it on human beings? No, we haven't. This is where we are taking to. But we have tested it in vitro and the activity is very great. And we have tested the toxicity in animals, which is very, very great too. Key issues pending for this discovery are deepening research and patenting the research product and getting the right pharmaceutical firm that will take over the research discovery. The coming months may be very crucial for this endeavor.